I think our collector, first of all, has to have some innate curiosity about history and objects of history. The people that are collectors are going to be collectors. So I think you have to have it in you. Currently, I'm the unofficial historian for Federal Cartridge Company. I've uh, had this title for about 40 years. I don't get paid. I don't have an official contract. Sort of not fell in love, but I, uh, I don't know, developed a passion for it. I think I had a collector bug when I was a kid. I've, I've had collections of old medicine bottles, daisy toy guns. I even had a collection of firecrackers once. I think I decided at an early age that I just wanted to pursue federal. My dad was a preacher and was an avid duck hunter. It didn't take me long before I started to pick up empty boxes and shells. My mom thought it was just junk. She started to clean out my stuff. She was going to toss my baseball card collection and I pleaded with her to leave my ammunition alone. What happened to your baseball card collection? It's gone. <laughs> I had a Mickey Mantle rookie <laughs> card in there. <laughs> At the urging of my kids, uh, they wanted me to put together a memorabilia. It starts with my uh, career in the Air Force during Vietnam, and then my transition into emergency medicine, being a paramedic director, a deputy sheriff, a deputy coroner, and a medical examiner. I've been teased by a lot of people uh, who tell me you, you had all the bases covered. You could save them, you could take care of them when they died, you could get them to the hospital, uh, you could arrest them if they were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it sure was fun. Somehow I still managed to put in my time uh, working with Federal. I've been asked on occasion how, how big my collection really is. And, I probably have several thousand shot shells, thousands of boxes. A lot of the boxes I have, you know, that are folded up. I keep it in order chronologically so uh, I can find it when I need it. I think all I can say is it's a damn big collection. That's probably the best way to describe it. I'm sort of running out of space as to where I'm going to put anything from the future. This is the first box I ever got. And it was my pride and joy. I, I had it right next to my bed while I was growing up, and it stored my small collection in it. Currently, I do go on the internet, so including eBay and auctions. I've used about every resource that I can imagine. Almost all of these I've picked up at different uh, collector shows. I bring a lot of displays to the ammo shows, and over the years, I think I've won a, an award almost every year, at least at one of them. I really feel good about the fact that I've been able to create some books for Federal that show all their product over the years, and uh, I've enjoyed doing that. It's, it's, it's relaxing for me to do that. Most of my memories, though, are related to my visits to Federal and all of the neat people I've met over the years and how helpful they've been with me and seeing that I uh, foster my collection. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. My first encounter was in 1972 when I paid a visit to Federal Cartridge Company up in the Fauché Tower. They were kind enough to let me come in and, and talk to uh, Bill Horn, who was the president. He introduced me to his dad, which was Charlie Horn. We talked about Federal shells and their history. I always found people uh, once they understood what I was doing, very kind and willing to help, which has been remarkable. Hey, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while. Good to see you, Doc. Yeah, give me the old Scandinavian yeah. a hug. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's another slug, and here's another buckshot. How's Thanks. that? That's great. Okay. Well, you made my There's day. all kinds of treasures see, around it always, here. Always you always helps to come, come and visit you. You know that? <laughs> okay. Ah, I'm great. I haven't Good seen you for you. a few months. It's but... been a, too long. Yeah? So I hear you got some third degree stuff down here. We do. Yeah. And I think uh, we're going to take you over there and we'll, uh, take we'll a shoot uh, around and you can take a look at that. That'd be great.
I've been asked frequently, what, what is my plan for my collection uh, as I get older? My ultimate uh, goal is to keep it uh, intact and make it something that could be used by everybody to reminisce the history of Federal. Yeah, I feel like I've done something uh, very worthwhile and I'm proud of it.